What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Kid Kyrie, man. You guys already know how we rocking, man. So today, I'm going to be doing a quick reaction to Joyner Lucas' devil's work. Um, To be honest, I never heard of this dude. I don't know who he is. I don't know any of his music or anything like that. I don't even know this man existed. So, um, actually, my boy Lance, make sure y'all follow his YouTube channel. At, uh, I'll put it in the description somewhere. Anyways, um... Yeah, I never heard of this dude, bro. I haven't heard anything about him. My boy Lance actually put me on to him just now, talking about, you know, he just dropped a new music video or whatever. So, you know, I figured I might as well check it out. And this will be a good opportunity to, like, you know, see his work and what he does and see him as an artist. So, and by the title, it's kind of like, as a first time person trying to hear him, it's just like, the title kind of threw me off. It's like, devil's work. Like, it's kind of weird. But, you know, let's just get straight into the video, man. I'm excited. Let's see it. Donald Trump and Nipsey Hussle right there. Father, me. I'm staring at this Bible as I keep glancing. Dear Lord, I got questions and I need answers. I'm trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage. Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping. A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing. We supposed to be your children, I thought we family. You supposed to be my father, bro, I need answers. We don't need to die young, we just need chances. Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing. We just want me number one like Steve Francis. By my head saying praying out of seas planet. Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish. A lot of good niggas gone, I don't understand it. A lot of families lost and they seem stranded. I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers. I know you're watching us from heaven thinking who to say. Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way. And bring back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you're never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Cause you taking the wrong niggas, maybe you should trade. Trade us back all the real ones, remove the fix. I think you should trade. Give us two pop back and say that nigga shook. Let the legend resurrect and he gon' live for good. I be screaming thug life in every different hood. If only you can bring him back, Lord, I wish you would. Give us Biggie, give us Pun, give us Triple X. Take that nigga Trump with you, that's a bigger threat. There's too much power for a coward with no intellect. That's a bigger with a collar, there's a disconnect. Niggas dying, mama crying, grandma need a tissue. Niggas shooting up a church, now I need a pistol. All the niggas still living, you don't see the issue. But how you take the leader, then you take a leader with you. I ain't trying to disrespect, just need a meter with you. I ain't trying to overstep, just want a reason with you. Give us back our love, wasn't take the evil with you. Send them sucking straight to hell, they don't need a visual. I need you to give us back Martin Luther. Take Martin Screlly, give us back Malcolm. Take R. Kelly, R. Mm. And it got expensive. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do, and now I'm reaching out to you, hoping you hear me in return. I know that you got our back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love us, so you're doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young, and I ain't on the guest list. I've been drinking, Lord, forgive me as my blood racing. 
I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient and it sucks waiting. Took my man's from me, that forever hurts. But putting the blame on you, that it never worked. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. Why is there a thing at NEC right here? <laughs> Come on, bro. Mm. So, here's the thing. I get the message. I totally get the message. Um, it was pretty clear about what he was talking about. Like, basically, how all the good people are dying young and how certain situations aren't going the way that it should and, you know, situations happening the way it shouldn't be happening. Like, I totally get that, bro. But here's the thing. As a Christian kid and, you know, me believing in God and believing the Bible, um, you know, we'll never know why God does this stuff. We'll never know that. That's just simple as that. And for him to say certain things like, you know, to take Nipsey here and, Eric Holder, Eric Hoover, which whatever his name is, should have died or, you know, Donald Trump should be dead or stuff like that. That's not right to wish things like that on people, regardless. Um, you know, because that's people's families. But I totally get the reason why. I, I totally get it. I'm understandable. But we'll never know why God does these things. And everything God does, he does it for a reason. So for him to put himself and to say this stuff is actually really brave and you know, it takes a lot of courage to actually release this type of music. But like I said, we'll never know why God does these things. I get the pain that, you know, his best friend and stuff, you know, got, I don't know what happened to him, but you know, he's, he's fresh, his best friend died. So I can understand that. But I just think from my personal perspective, well, you know, it's hard. You know, you guys know the quote, the good die young. It's just, I don't know why that's so coincidental, but it is what it is. We can't control what God is going to do in our lives and the purpose that he has for us. I get the reason why. I also get the reason why he um, named this devil's work because he believes the devil is going to do this. And, you know, as for Joyner, I know he has a lot of questions about why God does these things and um, why he allows it to happen and things like that. Like I said, man, we'll, we'll never know. And we can't blame ourselves and we can't blame him. It's just that's just the way it is. And at the same time, him having a relationship with God is going to be really crucial with himself. It's just very important that these things like this happen in life. And it's hard for us to, you know, I understand that it's hard for us to adapt to these situations and to things that go wrong in our lives. But it is, it is what it is. And, you know, we, there's things that we just can't control. And I truly believe that with him going through this, it's hard. I totally get it, man. So, um, you know, overall, this video, though, it was solid. I understood the message and I took it. You know, it's something that I was completely able to understand. It's very, um, it's very clear on what he wants to, what he was trying to say and the things that, you know, that was going on with him. So, um, you know, I'm just wishing the best of luck to him and I hope that he finds an understanding with God. And I hope you guys find an understanding with God as well because. God is great, man. God is real. God is alive. God is everything. God is everything to me, bro. So, um, you know, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications as well because we got more content coming. And stay tuned for the next one, man. We out, yo.